ladies and gentlemen, please help me introduce your pole sitter, entertainer, qualifier, it's Tony Archer! Out comes Toddy on the raceway. Great to have Toddy with us out on track. And he will be going great guns, that is for sure. Up next, the 2022 Entertainer League Champion and the 2022 Speedworth BWS Entertainer League Champion, a former Bandit Memorial final winner. And he's got a good chance on this. Position number two, please put your hands together for 178 Slim, Kieran Bynan. Morgan with his foot on the brake. <laughs> he was worried. Up next, absolute young gun with a real big chance. Drawing position number three. One of our rising stars here, ladies and gentlemen, please hands together for Jamie Bliving. Good luck, Jamie, as he makes his way out on to pit row. Up next on the raceway, this is going to be interesting representing Auto Speed, a former Entertainer League champion there, joining Jamie on row number two. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the track, it's Aaron Dark! I wish Aaron all the very best as he makes his way out onto the raceway. Next up, a former winner of this back in 2021, so not that long ago, a national points champion here. He has literally done it all. Ladies and gentlemen, position number five, 8.30 stretch, Lee White. Another driver who set out to qualify for this and he's done it in back-to-back -back years since joining us here at Trackstar and he's got a really handy grid draw as well. I know his dad would have told him to get his foot down. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome 36, it's Ricky Lewis! Good luck, Ricky. Right. Start your engines! Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time, I'd tell myself so that. that. Looks like this one's away going, Mr. Starling. If I go down, we're away at racing with the 2023. Two in the back of the wall file is Todd Archer. They count the four five nine leads him away. Dean Mays be turned around already in kind of the seventh race here. Promise the 76 right score down there. Licorice, the duck has gone as well down the whole straight for the front. But he's Todd Archer leads him four five nine. Kieran Bonner right down here with somebody down there, but White goes into. One of the cars down there, but it is uh, still Todd Archer leads. 459 Archer, the leader. Kieran Bowman shadowing his every move. He's coming to 178. Tohono Osborne's gone down the back straight. And a few more going out on there, including 114 Lakey Trouble. Oh, and Archer's gone. The leader's gone. Kieran Bowman gets caught up in that as well. By the way, Nick Brown proves to be a bit of an obstacle for the cars coming round. And it's going to be all changed. And who's he going to be, Mr. Stalder? Is it 355 now who leads? Aaron Dark, I believe, with Bowman back to second. 355 Aaron Dark, the right leader. Bowman second to Horay Blimey in third place. So then they're all coming down this now. Bowman got on the inside of Dark. We've still got Blimey up there as well in car number 2 4 8. It's a close race up front in this two. Oh, Blimey's gone. Blimey's gone in car number 2 4 8. And it's Bowman who has a bit of breathing space out here. There's a car number 1 7 8. Kevin Bowman, the race lead. Oh, now this home straight now. It's all happening. All kicking off now there as Dean Mays goes as well on the back straight. Grant Barsh with trouble in car number 69, one of the local. Oh, well, we've got problems down there. We've got to tie in the middle of the track. In fact, this whole track could get blocked very shortly in turns one and two. It clears the way through. We'll try and pick up the race leader and see what's going on. Oh, stop, he's gone. He's not going to defend the title. 57 back stop spins out going down the back straight. 
They're all flying around in this race. Cars going left, right and centre. One seven eight bomber still the race leader. He comes through there, Mr. Starter. Three five five Aradaki set. Oh my word! And uh, Bomber there nearly tangles with his uh, fellow predator. Three one seven Bryce and Walker. But Bomber now building up a bit of a lead in the one seven eight car. Three five five Aradaki second. Thirty six Ricky Lewis in third place. So we will keep our eyes on what's going on in this one. It is Aaron Bowman who leads this one now by a decent margin. 355 Aaron Dark in second place. In third place it's 36 Ricky Lewis, possibly 248 Blythe has recovered for fourth. But look at this now, Carl Douglas coming through from towards the back of the back. He dumped Dan Bowie into the leg count about warning him down there. And Douglas now possibly up to fifth place, I would say, in count of the 552. Bowman though the one who is way out in front of the minute as Aaron Dark is delayed by uh, the van marking traffic and Bowman now with a good third of a lap lead as Aaron Dyke goes out there and uh, the second and third place drivers squabbling going down the back straight and now uh, Bowman out in splendid isolation in car number 178 having led this one from towards the start of the race Bowman the race leader look at this now Drew Bedeck has uh, pulled out I think he could be trying to stop the cars chasing Bowman, in fact he does that in fact that tyre now he's right in the middle of the track going down the home straight that could cause a problem for a couple of drivers so uh, we'll see what's going on it's Bowman still who leaves Mr. Stanley, Canada 178 but there uh, looks like he might try and help his teammate as he is uh, comes across the track there but uh, doesn't have a go at taking anybody out so Bowman having a chance to arrive here really Managed to avoid all the incidents happening around the track, and he's uh, way out in front in Canada 178. 178 Bowman, the race leader. Here he comes through now, another lap completing. Second place, looks like it could be Danny Douglas now in Canada 552. Third place, possibly Blythe in Canada 248. So that's confirmed, Mr. Stanley, for the top three. It's 178 Bowman who leads, Douglas second in 552. Third is Blythe in Canada 248, but Blythe be taken sideways into turns three and four, but Bowman goes through another lap completing. In car number 178. Second place, Danny Douglas, charging through in car number 552. And Carl Douglas in car number 552, so usually uh, Danny Douglas winning all the right other races. Jack Ruckard, what has he got planned in 19? Aaron Nelson trying to uh, make sure whatever he does, um, he doesn't, as uh, Aaron Nelson goes into the back over Ruckard. So Ruckard has his eyes set on something. As Stretch as well, looks like he might be trying to join the uh, Ruckard stroke Nelson party. So then Ruckard goes back on the middle to turn around once again. It's Bowman who leads in 178. Carl Douglas second in Canada 552. Jamie Blythe in third in Canada 248. Beyond that, we'll have to wait for the charts to be checked. But Bowman leading this one. Danny Douglas there taking a line there nicely up the inside. And uh, Carl Douglas is uh, a quick driver here. Bowman here with the bumper on Steve Hackett in Canada 466. Bowman the race leader in 178, Douglas looks like he's catching Bowman now in Canada 552 and the distance between first and second is uh, certainly starting to uh, diminish but Bowman still holds a healthy advantage Bowman goes down the back straight still in Canada 178 leading the way Douglas is second in Canada 552, third is still a Blythe in Canada 248 Three laps to go next time, Mr. Stanley. Three laps next time around. And that could well be long enough for Bowman to hold on. Bowman leads going down the back straight. Douglas is definitely catching in car number 552. Third place. Looks like Blythe in still, but here it comes now. Bowman takes the three laps to go board. Steve Hackett. Right, uh, the driver needs to negotiate. Douglas catching all the time. But will he have run out of time to do so? It looks like he could do as uh, something happens down there. Bowman still leading. Douglas, well, he doesn't really seem to catch it. I don't think he's going to do it, you know. I think Bowman could well hold on here. Just over a lap to go. 
Douglas has to pull something very, very special out of the back on this last lap. But Jack Ruckard I think he's after Mac Bell in 28, and he did. He stops Mac Bell in 28. And all the dead there goes out and stops Douglas to ensure it's going to be a win for the Predators. That one, I don't know. Douglas then stopped by, but then it's going to be a win, nearly flanks of victory for Kieran Bowman in 178 who takes it. Bowman the winner in 178. So then, and uh, look out there. Yes, they're taking out there, the rest coming through to complete the distance. And Kieran Bowman it is, takes the biggest win of his career. Okay, Mr. Starr, that will do. Reds, please. Reds on the raceway. Your 2023 champion of the world, 178, Kieran Bowman. Let's raise the roof for your 2000. And 23, Julia Bayer, champion of the world, is one seven eight. Kieran Bowman. Sparky, well done. Sparky, just repeat that, mate. Just say what you just said. Long time coming for him, he deserves it. Yeah, absolutely, I'm sure. First things first. <laughs> well done. Oh, mate, wow. Um, one of them races that just no one else managed to get into. Yeah, no. Nah, to be honest, when they got, you know, they got the grid draw yesterday, I thought it was over before it started, but managed to get away, and uh, that's how it stayed. Luckily, yeah. yeah. Whew. Listen, you and James, you buy into everything we want to do as a promotion. Let me just get me. Uh, you buy into everything we want to do. And to have one of your own come out, finally, getting the world title, mate, must be over the moon. Yeah, I can't, I can't believe it, I'm speechless, to be honest. I really am. You know, but from last night to today with the autograph signings and everything like that, you know, it's something that you enjoy doing for the fans. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, absolutely. Where's the beast, anyway? Final for you guys. No, that was good. That was yeah. a good race to watch. Really enjoyable. Every bend, something was unfolding, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was good. I thought um, Black Nuss was coming through then. He yeah. was definitely catching, but then uh, I think Drew was. I think Drew stopped him, but no, it was good. Yeah, it certainly was. It was a lively event. We had the whole Jack Rookard taking on Matt Bell, Aaron Nelson and Stretch. I mean, I couldn't keep my eyes off that. Yeah, no, it was good. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> right, third place. Ladies and gentlemen, Please raise the roof for this man as I bring him in for an interview. Won the last chance and then comes over the line third in his first world final here. It's big job, Steve Hackett. Steve, I know you don't like speaking, but you couldn't have asked for a better day, could you? Oh, mate. And we've still got the all comers to come. Yeah, mate. Are you going for a crash in that one? I don't know, I might save it. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> You've done enough laps today, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> right, there's Harvler. He's got. Second place in that one. Right, we'll get him over. It's 248. Jamie Bliving. Uh, Jamie, as I said to Kieran, it's one of them races. Go and put that on, mate. You've earned it. It's one of them races that not a lot of drivers outside the front ones got involved in. And me and Alistair said that this could happen. Yeah, dry everywhere. Yeah. I was getting flicked everywhere. But you are a top young gun here. I said it as you come out. I genuinely believe you've got a title in you. Definitely coming very shortly. And you've just proved it in that one. Next year. Yeah, 100%. Well, you never know. We've still got two ones to aim at here with the, the 1500s and the micros as well. So, But this is a huge event now. And, and you look like you really held your own out there. Yeah, really good. Yeah, I'm over the moon for you, mate. You did say you'd see me later. And I'm pleased you have. Right, but ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for your winner of the two. 2023 Classic Cars Arus Championship of the World. It's 178 Slim Kieran Bowman. Right, in comes. 
I don't think really there would have been a more popular winner. Track star hat on. And now in the Predators camp there is a world champion. And the beast is still sat on the water cart, he can't.